Welcome back. This is the sixth video in the series on using Google Sheet for stock analysis. In this video, we are going to analyze stocks based on promoters holding. We are going to analyze stocks in two ways, whether promoters holding is above 50% or below 50% and second, whether promoters holding has increased or decreased. Now, this data is not available from Google Finance. So we are going to grab this data from screeners website. Similar to this, we have created video on grabbing data from screeners website. You can find that video. The link will be in the description. So let us understand all the steps in detail. Let's get started. So for each script, we will form a URL. So shortly I'll show you uh, on this URL data is available, which is a screener's website URL. Uh, first, we are going to find out promoters holding. For example, for Tata Steel, you can find out promoters holding for last few years. So this data is available on screener's website. So the first step is to grab this data from screener's website. So let's understand it. So assume the name of script is in B4 cell and from that we form URL of that stock for screeners website. So let's see on this URL what information is available. So I hit that URL in the address bar of the browser and let us see what all data is available. So for that selected companies data still in this case you can find out all fundamental and technical data is available on that site. Now from this page, we want to grab data which is available under this table. So I found that the table number in this web page is 10th table number. So let us use that URL and grab data into Google Sheet. So to grab data from any web page, we use function called import HTML. So we have this import HTML function which takes the first argument as URL. So from which URL we want to grab the data. Then from that we are going to grab data available in table structure and 10th indicates the table number in which data is available. So using import HTML we get all the data. Now from that we want to select specific data. So for that we use this query function. So we supply output of this import HTML as input to the query function and then we write appropriate query to do the filtering of that data. So we use select star so initially we print all the data so that we can understand that what query we have to write if you want to select specific data. So that's our query select star and one indicates how many header rows are there. So I hit the enter key. I'll get data for Tata Steel here. So let me show you how it gets updated. So let me change this company from say Tata Steel to some other company for example say Infosys. You will see that data has updated. So when I hit this query I will get this whole table which contains holding shareholding pattern which includes promoters, FIIs, DIIs, public and other holding. Out of that, we are interested to grab only promoters holding in this example. So let's see that how we can grab data related to promoters only. So we use same query function that we have used here, but now we are going to write appropriate where close in this select query. So let's see that what we write. So you can see that query here. So we write where close where column 1 value is promoter 
plus in whatever format this value is written it's a promoters one space and one so exactly that query we write here as the value of the column one so this query is going to filter all the rows and whichever row has column one as promoters space plus it's going to grab values for that row and we'll get the promoters holding for all these year ranges which is starting from March 2019 to December 2021 so it's actually shareholding patterns for each quarter so this result we are going to use in our sheet So you can see it here I've used exactly same formula and because I do not want the header row I specify number of headers as zero because I don't want that header row. So using this I can find out the promoters holding for that selected script. Once we get it, we can easily find out the latest holding is available in column T. So let us write that latest promoter holding as T4. Now later on, we are going to highlight stocks based on this value. Let us see another analysis that is whether promoters holding has increased or decreased. For that we use a function of line of best fit. So using line of best fit we get slope and intercept. So let me explain you what is this line of best fit. So for example we have certain data points. One data point is here, another data point is here, another data point is here which in which indicates say promoters holding for example promoters holding is say 40 here promoters holding is 50 here and here promoters holding is say 60 now line of best fit is going to create a line which will pass through this data points so here line of best fit is increasing towards the x direction in some other situation we may have say data points where the promoters holding is decreasing in the second case so here line of best fit the line of best fit will be decreasing in the x direction so when we create line of best fit If slope is positive which indicates that it is increasing if slope is negative which indicates that the value is decreasing so this concept we are going to use in stock analysis so you can see here when I when I call this line of based fit function it's going to return me slope and intercept where value of slope if it is uh, high then value is changing very fast if value of slope is positive which indicates a promoters holding is increasing and if value of slope is negative which indicates that promoters holding is decreasing and the strength of the slope indicates by how much amount it is increasing or decreasing after finding out this latest promoters holding and slope for line of best fit let us highlight stocks based on the promoters holding value and slope value so let me show you what we have done so I select this column where I want conditional formatting and then I go to format and conditional formatting and here I specify what kind of formatting I want 
so you can see that in this column range i want to have green color if latest promoters holding is above 50 percent and red color if latest promoters holding is below 50 percent so let's see that what formula we have written so you can see that if value is above 50 we specify green color and same way if value of promoters holding is less than 50 percent we specify red color so this formula we can specify using custom formula is that we write in the formula cells so once i do that it's going to highlight stocks in green color if promoters holding is above 50 percent and in red color if promoters holding is less than 50 percent in similar way we are going to highlight the stocks in green color if promoters holding has increased if promoters holding has decreased we are going to highlight those stocks with red color so let us see what formula we write so we go to format conditional formatting and here we write similar formula but uh, instead of uh, promoters holding i am going to use result of the slope parameter so let's see what formula we write to highlight the stocks so we check the conditional formatting formula so you can see here my slope value is in f column so i selected that for this range if custom formula is value of slope which is in f4 is greater than or is equal to 0 highlight it using color same way if value of slope is less than 0 highlight stocks using this red color so once we do this we will be able to analyze all the stocks that we are entering in our b column in just one go so let's see what result we will get randomly selected around 15 scripts for which i want to do analysis based on promoters holding so i simply now copy this formula for all these stocks and within few seconds i'll be able to perform the analysis okay so you can see here that for tata steel yes bank iex lg equipment exide industry mrf and aban i can see these stocks in red color which indicates that their corresponding promoters holding is less than 50 percent so you can see now for certain scripts uh, data is not available so maybe on screeners website that data may not be present here you can see for example lg equipment has uh, less than 50 percent same is for all these stocks now let us see for slope parameter so we find only one stock in which promoters holding has decreased which is having slope as negative so let us verify whether it is correct or not so you can see that the promoters holding initially for march 2019 it was 19.8 but then slowly it has decreased and it has reached to zero percent we can also analyze stocks whose promoters holding is less than 50 percent but using this slope parameter we can see whether it is good stock or it is bad stock so you can see here for lg equipment promoters holding is 31.91 percent but the slope parameter indicates positive so using such google sheet you can analyze stocks based on uh, latest promoters holding and whether promoters holding is increasing or decreasing thanks for watching and happy learning